Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to transform a normal picture to a beautiful one. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Select the background layer and click on Controller Command J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Controller Command Shift A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs. Hues, Saturation, Luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background, this is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's clean up the skin a bit and remove the dark spots from the skin. Open a new layer. Click on the healing brush, choose sample as current and below. Now start healing. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. Adjusting whites to bring up the tone on her t-shirt. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer. Let's rename this layer as local dodge and burn. Click on shift F5. On the dialog box select contents option and click on 50% gray, blending mode normal and opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the gray layer blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool, masking colors black and white. Brush setting opacity 100%, flow 1% are changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning. Burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. 
Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer. Increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Brush settings, opacity 100%. Flow 10% are changeable accordingly. Ok we are done with this step. Let's light up the background. Open a new gradient colors adjustment layer. Changing the colors to yellowish orange so that it will match our picture. Decrease the opacity of the gradient layer as needed. Change the blending mode to soft light. And start brushing the subject using a layer mask. Ok we're done. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% are changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently. If overdone, decrease the opacity to look natural. Let's darken the background a bit. Open a new layer, select brush tool. Select black. Brush settings opacity 100%, flow 10% approximately. Now start brushing around the subject. Okay, we're done. Let's tone up the overall picture. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Select blacks in the selective colors. By adjusting these we will get some unique tones. These tone will bring up matte effect to the picture. We will go with kind of yellowish matte color, so this will suit our picture. Okay this is fine. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Controller Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process.
Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image. I'm looking for a yellowish red color. Ok this is fine for me. Hit on ok once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.